Got another exam question on the carbonyl compounds topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So there's the aldehyde group in safranal. Tollens reagent is a mild oxidizing agent, so it will oxidize this group here to a carboxylic acid group. So the observation you would see would be a silver mirror. The silver ions in the silver nitrate solution in the Tollens reagent get reduced to silver atoms. It's an oxidation reaction because the aldehyde group is oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. You could also say redox because we've got both processes taking place. Silver ions reduced to silver atoms, aldehyde group oxidized to carboxylic acid, and the product would look like that. So moving on to the mechanism now, you can see I've already drawn up the dipole across the seedable bond dough. The reducing agent, this NABH4, is a source of hydride ions. So we show an hydride ion like that, and we take a pair of electrons from the lone pair on the H minus ion to the slightly positive carbon. And that's going to repel the pi electron pair completely under the oxygen. So the pi bond part of the seedable bond all breaks by heterolytic fission. So that's going to generate this intermediate here. And then there's a couple of ways to finish off the mechanism. I would normally use a water molecule now. So obviously show the dipoles on the water molecule take a pair of electrons from the lone pair on that O- minus to one of the hydrogens on the water molecule and then break that OH bond by heterolytic fission. That's going to generate your alcohol and an OH- minus ion. Alternatively, you could use an H- plus ion here and the mechanism would finish like that. Moving on to part C now, so reaction of safranal that doesn't involve the aldehyde group is obviously the reaction of these carbon-carbon um, double bonds. The obvious reaction to go for, because we need um, an observation, is the reaction with bromine. So the reagent is bromine. The observation is orange to colourless because the bromine reacts and is decolorized. Now there's a few possible answers you can give for the final product, so any of these are fine. So basically this one here is just this double bond reacting with the bromine. This one here reacting both of them. And this one here is we're just reacting this one. 